So here we are again, another pile of steels. Sea Beach and Sons. I promise us they'll be here Thursday. Today's Tuesday, two days early. So what we're gonna do now is, we're gonna try and get them onto this level, if we can, onto the grass where we put loads of timber. So we're gonna give it a go. They are only 23s, these steels, and I think the biggest one's just over three meters. So we're talking about 70 kilos, so it's not too bad at all. So we might have to put them here, or we'll try and get them up there. Either way, we'll, uh, we'll get them on the lawn so they're not in, uh, in view. We're not back here till tomorrow, so, uh, so we'll get these in. Well, that was simple, and no sweating either. <laughs> yeah. uh, apart, no. for, apart from Mick, but Mick's sweat standing still. So, we just managed to get it up here, straight through this gap as we thought we'd have a go at, and we have. Brilliant. Put them on here. On here, all ready to go. There we are. That was not so simple for us today. Morning. Good morning. Welcome to the loft. Let's get ourselves uh, inside and show where we're up to. Just open some of these windows. Um, all we've done, we, myself and Mick were here yesterday. What we've done is we've started preparing for the steel stretcher plates, bearing plates, whatever you want to call them. So you can see behind me, there's one just there. And that is pretty much what we're doing. There's a steel plate on there, and Adam did say what the sizes were, but that one is 330 wide, that length, sorry, 100 mil wide by 25 mil thick. And they are all, all over the place, so there's another one there. There's another one where that post will be. But what we have done is, is we've taken out the brick wall that was there that you would have seen on the last video. We put a, a bearer on there, so to form a triangle. And I've put another post in the center as well. So what I will do with that is that and that triangle's got it. It's, that's bracing down this way and that's bracing down that way and that's bracing this way, so it's solid. I only put that in as an extra for me so I could sleep. So when we're ready to put the steels in, I'll just tap that out because it's only friction fit, it's not rammed in. So I didn't want to disturb this one. We panicked a little bit. I didn't want to disturb this one. So that'll just tap out. We put another steel plate on there. That brick was loose, so we just got to bed that one back in. As you can see, we've taken all this doorway out now. This is all out. That one's all out. I missed that one, showed you. That steel is where it's got to be, but we are going to have to put some packing on. But we packed that temporary with some, um, some plaster just to get us a level because a laser was on there. So that's what we're doing with that. And steel in there and a steel in there. That window, we've had confirmation that that window is now coming out. That's coming out now. We wanted it out anyway. We were concerned. I think I've, I've already put it on some footage already. Or well, maybe we were just talking about yesterday, weren't we? I don't think we put that on film, did we? No. no. Anyway, what we've done is, is you may remember from the last video that we've got beam four. It's coming from there, from that one there, coming round and sitting on, get me angle right, because I'm trying to use my tripod as a bit of a selfie stick. Check me out. Get down with the kids, man. Um, onto there, and then next to that, to the right hand side, and then goes across onto there is the other beam four, which is getting built into the wall as well. Because if you remember from the last footage again, it's going below these purling steels here. So we then said, well, we can't because we got this, we got the, you know, it's a wooden lintel, we can't do that. But she wants this window going anyway, because this wall's coming out, that wall's coming out. The wall's going back here, what will be under the steel. And then that'll be a big bathroom then. So she's happy that this window, that big one is more enough for the bathroom and we agree with that doesn't need any more so luckily we'll strip this out now we'll um Pick it up. yeah we'll block work the inside up leave the window inside for now because we can uh, we can get that after can't we mix so um we can smash that and, and cut it out if we need to after or just cut the fix out and pull it out after when the scaffold's up so we'll block it up for now so we can then put our steel plate in as planned on top of the brickwork and block work there and then set out now we're gonna have to do is put some kind of uh, prop on this because this is a purling strapper. Um, so we'll put that in there, or purling support, whatever you want to call it. So we'll have a look at that. 
the footage may be a bit disjointed because it's at the minute it's just knocking out, which is why we didn't film any of any of this yesterday, all the plates and everything, because we just thought, you know what, too dusty. We're effing and jeffing anyway. We spent most of the day uh, stopping and starting and talking about, oh, shall we, shan't we, and what's going to be the best approach to do this, and how we're going to get the levels. But ultimately, what we did do in the end was we used that one up there when we put the plate on, which is where beam three is sitting on there because it's going to be two steels bolted together, supported by beam four, and then sat on the end of there. And then another one goes across and sits in that socket over there. So what we did was we took that in effect as our highest point, made ourselves a bit of a, a bit of a rod there, and you see that. So we can, what we did then, we sat that on top of that plate up there, and then we use it to measure up and measure down, depending on which steel we're looking at, because beam four, as I've just said, sits underneath beams three and five, which is the front and back, which are the purling supports. Uh, in actual fact, this rear one isn't a purling support, because it's purling, other than we may leave a little bit of that in, or we are leaving a little bit of that in, and then prop that, because um, there's a wall going across there, and we're gonna leave two rafters in there, two rafters and over that side because it just looks a bit better. And also, um, this is a joined property, uh, semi-detached. So we'll leave that in so we don't disturb next door's roof as well, which is always easier, rather than having to miss. Um, and then we'll start, we'll double that one up then. That one will be doubled or there'll be a, a 6 by 2 put next to that then. Same as over the other side. And then that's where we build our dormer cheek off. So we'll have a look at that now. We're gonna get moving because there's stuff everywhere as well, as you can see, all over the floor. All in here. It's a bit of a mess. And it's getting under our feet now because we knocked out yesterday. So we need to move stuff before someone does an ankle. So we'll crack on with that and uh, we'll see how the footage goes for today. Hope you enjoy it. So we've cut the uh, timber out there. Quite a substantial timber. We haven't took it all the way out like we do on the rest of them because it goes all the way through across the top of this one. So we've cut it back enough. So our metal plate will sit about there. So at least the metal plate with the steel in it will be on brickwork. And then that will just be compo back in. You need to remember that that wall plate will be gone anyway, with no roof on it. So that it won't matter, that's not supported because it won't even be there anymore. Because the new dormer will be sat on the new floor joist, which is supported by the steel. Blah, 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 there we go. So um, that's what we do now. So I'm just gonna uh, block all that in. Put some wall starters on ready, put the plate on, and then we'll, as I said earlier, we'll set that plate on a bit of compo, not a timber out. Bit of compo on that there, set that, and go around and just laser them all using my laser. That's the plan. So, give them an update. So we set the, uh, oh, I hate to breath, down the stairs with a wish bucket. So we set the plates on there now. So the idea behind these is, if you had pad stones, you'd have to take out a lot more brickwork there, disturb a lot more. Whereas that, we've just cut a little bit and then put two bricks back in copper. And then when the steel's in, in that hole there, we'll brick it back in all the way around it. And that's uh, that sound. So we've got the layers up now, just doing the last two. Brick this window up now. And again, you just about to see that line there is the center of the steel going in there. And then again, likewise, when it's done, it'll be bricked back round again. Um, but keep in mind that the fact that this steel there, there's a steel going above that for the floor, what will be the new floor. So it will actually be 106 inches or 12 inches above that will be the top of new floor. So that'll all be done and made up, like including that little bit there when it's, um, when we're at that point, we can start bricking the steels back in. So we've got that one left to do. So that's all out there. So we've got to pick the um, pick that up a little bit more now. And Ad's just in here doing this last one. That's all done. That one's done on there. We've got to cut that wall down about two thirds of a brick to get a door frame in there, including taking this brickwork out, which we will do when we've taken this out. That's currently propping the purling. Steel sit on there now from that one over there, steel to there, and then bolted, sit onto beam four, which is here, and then bolted 
into that one over there. So there we are. Right, good morning. Steel day. Everyone looking, uh, looking pumped, man. Looking pumped. Ready to. That's a, uh, that's a, uh, for the silent movie people that are watching. Watch it with no noise. He actually said hello then. Um, so okay, we're just going to get these in upstairs and puff and pant a bit and get them in. Uh, we may film one of them going in. Depends how much swearing and cursing we do. So, but we'll see. We normally fall out about. <laughs> Between one and three. <laughs> and it is Friday. <laughs> uh, right then, let's crack on with it. Oh, hang on, full stop. Welcome back to Brandon. Brandon's right. back. I'm back. I'm going to put applause in in the now, Brandon. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's 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 that's
Yeah, let's get half up first. And that one there, Bram, is going to sit halfway on that wall, alright? Alright. Okay. Right, we're going to start. Right then, it's a bit dark, but now we've got both beam fours on, you can sort of see what's going on. That one there and that one there. And what that's doing is that's, that's uh, allowing the use of these 152, 152 steels because we've actually got, that carries the span. The steel from there to the center, from there, as you see, center that one and it bolts into there. And that one goes over there. So. That one there now that you can see, that is actually the height of the floor. So our um, plate or our timber plate will go inside that. And then that's where our, our floor joists will come from. So that's actually height. This will be, as you can remember from the last episode, this is in the wall of this bedroom. So there'll be a doorway here and that'll be within the, in the stud. Likewise, that one, that'll be within the stud of the bathroom when that, that wall that you can see there comes out. So after all our lasering, this is the one there that if that sits on there, and sits on top of there and it's level then we know we are 100 percent correct because well but let's let's see shall we just as we always do we are not going to stop it and we'll keep it rolling all the way through so you can see if we've cocked it up or not 
could check it, but we know Well, we could check it, but if it's wrong, it's wrong, and it will sort it out. So. We did allow a little bit, didn't we, just in case, because of because we were using the laser. That should get us there. Let's have a look. Right, right. Is that a good position there? Do we think, or do we come from this side? What do we think? Should I spin it this side again? Oops, the daisy smashing it. What do we think? Drop the legs. I hope you haven't turned off or fast forwarded yet. I'm trying to keep it on to prove that we're not going to check it first. Right, I'm going to put that there like that. That'll do, I think. There we go. Let's try that. I'll get this off. If you get your end out, get yourself set. And I'll put it on this lower B. Yeah. Press around that bridge. And there first, yeah. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. One more. I'll come around. I've got this one. Come on. Come on, 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 Come I'll put B, B, A, A, C, C. No, oh, there's okay. D here, so I'm C here, and there's a B here. Oh, that, that one might be even. Oh, okay, I'll do that. Right then, I'll get the level, you get the camera. Yeah. The lines are all lined up, the holes are lined up anyway. Yeah. So okay, so let me check this off the tripod. Still rolling, still talking rubbish. We'd like to just prove it. If you make mistakes, we don't mind saying it. Let me just get up on there. I hope this will be my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I'll set, I'll set the pad. Right I'll set this out, didn't I? Right. Are we ready? Yes. Well, hang on. Do I need to... Can I put a flash on? No, uh, I can't. Not what we're calling. I'm going to... That looks like. Anyone else got a flash? Not on this. Hold on. 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 We can't see it. We can't see it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Looks... I can't see from there. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I don't think it's... No. Alright, Mick, stop being so negative. Oh, I do now. I think it's absolutely spot on. Hold on to this. Hold on. Stop, stop, stop being swearing. If you're in a horror film, you'd be killed by now. It's not like that. Third, yeah. Third, like the cigarette. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Still going. I presume you can see. I can't see it from here because I. I've got the wrong angle, but... It's spot on. I can I'll see it's spot on. Is. Well, there we go, then. There we go. I hope you appreciate them as much as we do, because we kept it wrong just to prove that sometimes you do things wrong, but sometimes you do things right. There we go. That's worked. So all the setting out, a couple of hours you spent setting out and faffing about, trying to make sure it was all right. It's worked out for us. And these all join. They get bolted now. And we'll now use this one to support this purling. And then we can cut that wooden beam out and then put that steel in, because you can see that beam's got to come out now before we put that final beam across there. There we go. That's wonderful. Right then. Are we rolling? We're rolling. <laughs> printing your lines. I'm printing your lines. <laughs> okay, what we're doing now, we've put back what we've taken out. So over there, where the brickwork come out, we've put a, a 4 by 3 post in there where the brickwork come out. And then when we eventually get to that point, we are going to put a complete 4 by 2 wall over the entirety of this, all the way along. So this is just temporarily putting back in what we've taken out. Now, I'm going to take this one out now. Oh, let's go over there. Put that on there. <coughs> we put this 4 by 3 in there to support the point off our new steel here. And now we've got to cut this out so we can put this steel in. That's what we'll do. Right. Let's do that then. See how, how, how the roof doesn't fall down? <laughs>
Sorry. So we know there's no tension on it because there's no bite on the blade. That's it. I don't, I don't know what was more. I don't know what we were doing there because we were filming this to prove it doesn't fall down while simultaneously all four of us standing under it. <laughs> yeah, that's what confidence yeah. we got. Yeah. We found um, the one play. No. Right, stills are in. What we've got to do now is build this wall, put this wall in, and then we can take that out once these steel's on, because this steel, just like that over there, that you can see. Where are we? Let me just show you. Over there, that I've already showed you once. Same scenario here. So that steel come onto here, centre of this wall, I get onto the 25mm thick steel plate, and then from there onto beam four, which is that one, and then from there into the final pocket in the bathroom, in there. So we're going to build that wall up now. Get ourselves ready for uh, ready for Monday. Okay, then we're going to finish for the day now. We've got those steels in there on the pads. That's in. We put our four by three posts in there, all bolted. They're tripping over. A bit dark up this end. That's all done, that's bolted up there. Got our post in there, you've already seen us cut this out. That's in there, which is all good. So, so yeah, that one's on there, beam four's on there. This wall's now built, all tied into this wall here. Our plate's on there ready, so all I'll do on Monday is we'll cut slot from this point here, cut up enough because it'll still catch any going from there to there i know it's got the, the white of the roof but after looking at that one cut in there i'm not concerned at all with more than carry that i'm gonna cut 50 mil out of that purling support across that way to about there so about 300 wide 50 mil deep enough for us to pick the steel up move it across once i've got it in place i can then post like i've done on those two and then cut this out completely likewise when this steel goes in from there onto there which is halfway, the same as that one up there is look halfway onto there. Um, I can uh, post again and then take this one out and that post out. So yeah, all oh, pan back out too far there. So yeah, I can take that out there. And then put the last, two, last one in then into the bathroom, into that one there. So that should be done by breakfast time on Monday. And then what we're we'll moving straight on to Monday. So um, next episode after this one, will be cutting the timbers down for in the web. So I've got to cut a 6 by 2 down to about 140 into the web. Um, we're then going to pack the back of each hole because of the price of timber, we'd normally put doubles in, but with the price of timber the way it is and for what we need it for, we're going to pack out 25 mil so the timber sits flush with that because it's 75 mil deep web. Pack it out with a bit of... Um, 4 by one or a double lath at either side of each hole because there's a hole at every 600 all the way across an M10. And then that's both sides and then we'll bolt, bolt it in. And then what we've got to do is this side, this side is merely um, a storage space. So we're still using 7 by 2 so we can run our ceiling and our floor through the same. But uh, I'll just notch it onto the top of the wall plate. Now, 4 by 2 C16, C24, what we were using, will span from there to there, 4 by 2 no problem. But I'm using 7 by 2 and my calculations now, I've got to take out 3.5 inches. So 3.5 inches from there to there as a storage space. It's not a walk-in or furniture space. I'm more than happy with that. 400 centres, I remember. So that's what we're going to do. But because this wall plate isn't level, I've got a feeling I'm going to have to notch every single one. It is what it is. But there we go. So that'll be next episode. Something for you to look at. And then we'll start showing some floor going in, um, start trimming out the, st the um, stairwell, which, are, which is going the other side of this wall. So yeah, as always, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to uh, hit that like button and the notification bell, ready for the, uh, the next episode. So, there we are. Any comments, Ad, to finish the day off? Nothing? Have a great weekend, everybody. If it's the weekend, Monday, Wednesday, have a good mm. Thursday. Have a, have a good, have a, just have a good, have a good one. Have a good one. Well, don't worry about it. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs>